That's right, Pat. The vice president is here at the Montage Hotel behind me, uh, leading a discussion, a roundtable discussion of some of the most important issues facing the country right now. It's not a cheap uh, ticket for those who are attending to be on the roundtable discussion. $50,000 per couple is the minimum. Now, earlier, as you mentioned, uh, the vice president spent much of his day at the Mexican border, where he was briefed on building the wall and also on those trying to get across into the U.S. Migrants from Central America woke up in Tijuana, Mexico, right by the U.S. border today. They camped out there overnight, many with young children, in hopes of being first in line to apply for asylum. Some took part in a prayer, saying they have faith the doors will open for them. The caravan had been traveling for a month. At one point, the group had swelled to about 1,000 people, but only about 200 made it to the border. Many are applying for protection because of violence in their home countries. There's a reason we have the Statue of Liberty. We are a country that goes to war to protect the human rights of others. But officials from U.S. Customs and Border Protection say the San Diego port of entry is already full and asylum seekers may need to wait in Mexico temporarily. President Trump has warned they will not be allowed to enter the United States. Our immigration laws in this country are a total disaster. We have to have borders. We don't have borders, we don't have a country. And I've been watching for weeks as the caravan came up. We need border security, and we will have border security. That sentiment was echoed today by Vice President Mike Pence at the border in El Centro. That's where he got a first-hand look at several prototypes for President Trump's border wall. The president and I are determined to work with the Congress to fully fund the wall, to build the entire wall, but we have to fix our immigration system. Now, the roundtable discussion here and fundraiser, of course, is called Protect the Home. What that means is protect the Republican majority in the Senate and in the House and, of course, uh, throughout the, the country, because the money that's raised here today will be going to Republican candidates who are running in the midterm elections, those who may be threatened by Democrats. Pat, back to you.